cops having claimed all this while uh, that Saraswati Vaidya, who was uh, the victim and murdered by the accused uh, Manoj Sane in Mira Road case, was an orphan. Now a new twist has emerged in this case. Cops, in fact, said that they had traced them down. Uh, but as of now, the sisters are not willing to speak. More details have come out in uh, this case wherein it's been found out uh, that uh, Saraswati Vaidya and her sisters, they, she in fact had four more sisters. All of them had uh, lost their mother at an early age, following which they were staying uh, at Ahmednagar in an orphanage. Uh, both of their parents were separated, so which is why they were not really in touch with their father. Eventually, when they grew up, the sisters got married and Saraswati moved in uh, with Manoj Sane. Now, in fact, it's come to light that uh, Saraswati had stayed in that orphanage for 10 years at Ahmednagar, following which uh, uh, she uh, went and stayed with one of her sisters at another place and eventually moved in with some family members at Mumbai, wherein at Borevili she was looking for a job, wherein Manoj Sane offered to help her uh, to get this job. Also after that, while she was looking for a flat to stay in Mumbai, Manoj offered her, her own, uh, his own uh, flat which was there at Borevili. That's where they grew close and uh, they decided to get married. However, considering the age gap, uh, they did not really get married, they just exchanged garlands in a temple. Uh, there's of course no official record of uh, their wedding, uh, no marriage certificate or anything that's been made. Uh, but the fact uh, that uh, this exchange of garlands was also uh, in shared by Saraswati with her uh, with her sisters. In fact, uh, considering that Saraswati was in touch with them until the last, their statements become crucial point of evidence in order to understand what went wrong between uh, Saraswati and also with uh, Manoj Sane. Uh, there are also instances wherein uh, Saraswati had informed her sisters that he was resorting to domestic violence against her. But we are not really sure if there has been any complaint by Saraswati in any of the police stations yet. Uh, this is something that the sisters have been informed of, which will obviously be a crucial point of evidence uh, in this case that he was already hitting her and resorting to domestic violence earlier as well. Apart from that, uh, Saraswati, whenever she'd visit the orphanage back uh, for any kind of formalities or any kind of documentation, she'd introduce Manoj Sane as her uncle and not as a partner. Uh, so this is something that also is a point of contention as to why would she, uh, why would she introduce her partner as her uncle? However, uh, police suspect that this is because uh, because the two of them had a huge age gap between them. Of course, they were in a live-in; they were not married. They just exchanged garlands. This is something that the cops have really cleared. However, the cops have said. Uh, that uh, uh, that the accused Manoj Sane is constantly changing statements. So for him uh, to be cross questioned, uh, to be uh, to be brought to a pinpoint, they will have to work through it. It will take them a few days to crack the case. But considering that he is con constantly changing his statement, giving controversial statement, is something that cops are uh, really working on so that they could get the truth out from him. Now uh, that uh, Saraswati's sisters are here, uh, the statements are being recorded. The for the investigation will come easier because. Whatever piece, uh, whatever body parts that have been found of Saraswati would now uh, lead to a DNA match. DNA of her sister would be taken so that it could be matched to a certain that it was in fact Saraswati whose body has been found uh, in that particular flat, the flat number 704 at uh, Mira Road's Akash Gunga Society. So this is a, uh, this is the further investigation that will take place. Apart from that, after uh, the DNA uh, reports are verified, it is said that the body parts will be handed over to her sister for the last rites. Uh, so this is the new update that has come in, in Mira Road case. Considering the police are investigating the case, they still have time until 16.